Have you ever considered playing your favourite Battle Royale game in Excel? No? Well, I've done it for you anyway. This is Excel Royale, the first of its kind, a turn-based Battle Royale game. Now let's talk game mechanics. First up we have a drop pods parachuting spawn mechanic. Now you need a little bit of imagination here, but this is the same epic start to parachuting in Fortnite or PUBG. You spawn randomly across the map without any gear and without any weapon. You are represented by that red circle. There are 49 other characters spawning in with you, so you better gear up and move fast. We can only see enemy characters within a 5 cell radius of our player, an FOW mechanic that I am really proud of. The enemy spawns across the map can be shown using dev tools and the yellow circles here, with the purple ones the ones that we can actually see. Speaking of gear, there are 5 armor types and 8 weapons to gather across a game. They are all randomly distributed across the map. To get these much needed upgrades, you have to move within the grey cells. You can gear up, but so can your enemy. So the longer the battle goes, the harder it will be to win these fights. Movement wise, we can move one cell in any direction or stand still on our turn. We cannot swim, that's the blue cells, nor can we climb mountains, which are the orange cells. Enemies move similarly. They're somewhat randomly across the map as they try to battle and survive. Now let's play around with that here, as I will turn back on the dev tools of the yellow cells and we can see each turn how the enemies distribute themselves across a few rounds. Speaking of battles, battles occur randomly when any two characters occupy the same space. The winner of the battle is determined after three attacks for each character. Instead of having health, the character that deals the most damage wins. These battle mechanics use a D&D light structure of first rolling a chance to hit and then rolling damage. Chance to hit is influenced by the attacker's accuracy, which is determined by weapons, against the enemy's armor class, which is determined by the armor ward. The damage per turn is a random roll determined by the weapon held. The outcomes of these battles occur automatically and you are informed of who wins and who is left buried. You can keep track of those here. Rings. Like your favorite battle royale game, after a while a ring of doom spawns. You have to get inside this force field ring within a set number of turns or it's an instant game over. The turn mechanics are simple. Spawn in, spend the first 15 turns getting gear and trying to down your enemies. Then the ring spawns, giving you 15 turns to get within the range. From turn 30 onwards it's time to clear out the remaining enemies and claim that tasty chicken dinner. That's the game. Let's play it shall we? Let's play a game shall we? Boom, we've spawned on the top left of the map with lots of enemies around. I think what we're going to do is we're going to escape to the south and try to gather some of the inventory down here and hope that the ring spawns, you know, away from this top left corner. So let's get moving. There's already been the first battle, the first casualty. Let's keep on moving down. How about that? A couple of more battles as we go. We seem to be being followed by that character up there. Let's hope the spot to our bottom right here has an interesting item. Good hunting rifle. It's a good start there. Hopefully we can get some armor as well as we come across to item to our right here. The good That's a really good spawn for the ring. We've got some armor, we've got a weapon, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, we've had our first battle and we've lost. Well, that was a short and sharp example. How about we just play another one then, shall we? Straight back into it, spawning in the bottom right this time. Again, some early, early character losses. Let's keep on moving, keep on keeping on. Another hunting rifle. Pretty similar to last time. Hopefully we don't get a leather armor. Let's keep on moving across. What do we got? No, nothing good there. What about down here? Oh, we need to get to the ring again. Nothing great from the items. Let's just move across. It's an interesting uh, similar ring position to last time. We need to get there. I think we're just going to get there within 30 turns, which means it will be just okay. Oh, we might not actually make it. 28, 29. Oh, we're not going to make it. That's two games in a row that we haven't survived. Oh, that's Battle Royale for you. Let's try third time's the charm. Again, we're spawning into a very populated area. Uh, should we just try to get some battles going? I don't know what to do here. Coming across, a couple of turns to the left, another turn to the left, another turn to the left. Let's go up here. Ooh, sniper rifle. Now that's a good weapon. That should get us uh, some opportunities in battle if the ring spawns in a decent location for us and some chainmail. Um, now it's all going to be down to where the ring spawns and we have been very lucky this time which is fantastic. Let's keep on moving and we're just going to park ourselves in the center of the ring and try to clean up some of these items here to make sure if there are any upgrades that we can have them all. There's going to be a massive dropout. There's only five left. This could be our lucky game. Let's uh, try to get some of these enemies coming towards us here. Let's wait here. Boom, there we go. Our first actual uh, winning battle. And there's only four characters left. Oh, 
and we've lost another one. Well, why don't we call it there and let you play for yourself? I've just played three quick games and lost all three of them. Dev tools. As you can see, I have kept some of the dev tools open for you to check out in the bottom here. We've played around with some already. I'll leave the rest for you to play in the future. There you have it. It's a turn-based battle royale game that is free for download in the link in the description below. While I have you, why not check out some of the other games I've made across all sorts of different game genres. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.